Now to a developing story tonight. The Greenville Police Department is investigating after a runner was attacked on the Swamp Rabbit Trail late last week. 7 News reporter Ayla Farone jo joining us live now. So Ayla, why is this so concerning to police and the running community out there? Well, Ben, it's right here on this stretch of the Swamp Rabbit Trail where police tell me the attack happened on Saturday. Now, this area may look very familiar to our viewers. And that's because we were standing right here less than a year ago reporting on another attack in this same area. Now, police are urging anyone who's using the trail to use extreme caution. The Greenville Police Department says the attack happened on the Swamp Rabbit Trail near the Kane Halter YMCA. It's the same spot another runner was attacked just last year. We're all runners here and we have such a, a, a tight knit community. It, I mean, it really just hurts me to, to hear about that. Dane Simmons operates the Greenville location of Run In, a shop that caters to runners. He was surprised to hear about another attack but wasn't surprised about where it happened. I know it's a little bit darker over there. It's kind of off. Um, there's not a huge population over there, so not a ton of people use that trail anyway, but it seems like that is uh, that is the trouble spot. According to police, the recent incident happened on Saturday around 1 p.m. A woman reported that a man grabbed her and attempted to pull her into the wood line, but she fought back and escaped. Simmons hopes this incident reminds runners to think about safety before heading out. You always want to run either with a group or um, another person. There's even devices like this one that can be helpful to anyone on the trail in the event they are targeted. It's just got a little rip cord on it, so when you um, rip it, if you feel threatened or anything like that, what it's going to do is it's going to emit a very loud siren. Simmons is also hoping more attention is paid to that part of the trail when it comes to safety. Anything would help. Uh, more lights, um, emergency buttons, really anything. For now, he wants to drive home one message. And to the runners and to everyone running out there, just run with a buddy. Run with your phone. Um, you know, take the necessary precautions uh, while you're out there exercising and enjoying the trail. Now, Greenville police say that the victim who was attacked describes her assailant as a black man about five foot nine or shorter with an average build. They say she didn't get a good look at his face because he was wearing a neck gaiter and also sunglasses. I'm reporting live in Greenville, Ayla Farone, 7 News. All right.